Hi, my name is Joanne Kennedy and I'm a naturopath in Sydney, Australia, and I specialise in methylation and histamine intolerance. In this video today, I'm going to share with you my knowledge around histamine and how it can drive anxiety. So histamine is actually a neurotransmitter in the brain and it is involved in wakefulness, alertness and memory. However, histamine can build up in the brain and it can cause anxiety. Now, it can build up in the brain if you don't have enough methyls to break it down. Okay, so I've got a whole video on methylation if you'd like to look at that, but we need methylation to break down histamine in the brain. What can also happen in women is that estrogen gets into the brain and it increases histamine in the brain, which can then cause anxiety as well as issues with gut, okay? So some of the major drivers of having high histamine are from the gut. So when histamine builds up in the gut, it can get into the brain and increase histamine in the brain, which will cause anxiety. So when the brain detects that it has too much histamine, it sends a message to the adrenals to release adrenaline, okay? And the adrenaline is going to make you feel anxious and it's also going to prevent you from sleeping which is going to make you feel anxious as well okay now the catch with all of this is that what's going to break down adrenaline is also methylation okay and the other catch is that what's going to help break down estrogen so to prevent too much estrogen getting into the brain is methylation Okay, so when we're looking at anxiety driven by histamine, we really need to look at methylation and correct that in our patients as it can be one of or the major driver of anxiety for that person.